Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. Our high temperatures this afternoon got up into the upper 50s and low 60s, and it really depended on where you lived based on where that cold front moved in. Up to the north woods, it was a lot cooler. And I don't know how to break it to you, but there's even colder weather on the way. A lot of below average temperatures will be impacting a good chunk of the country as we head towards November 11th. And matter of fact, we even have a high temperature by the end of the 70 forecast. 35 degrees. I know we've been spoiled, but eventually we knew it was going to come. Today was a gloomy Saturday. It looks like we couldn't do anything. And then, oh, look, the sun came out. Maybe it was a nice time to go on a walk, enjoy it. And then came the cloud cover and more rain showers. It was a dry slot that moved in. That's why it made it look like we were in the clear, but then it quickly fizzled out and we definitely had more rain that came right back in here. A low pressure right now moving up to the northeast and that is still impacting our weather conditions here in northeast Wisconsin. Here's the secondary area of low pressure swirling across the upper plains moving east. We're just going to have some cloudy skies from that system, but it also is going to reinforce an additional shot of cool air. So on Monday and Tuesday highs will only be probably in the upper 40s. You might be lucky if you get 50 degrees. Rainfall is definitely what we've needed, though. It has been dry, although maybe enjoyable for the fall season. Being able to take a look at the fall colors, we do need the rainfall. And a lot of the rain has occurred in the last 48 hours. These are just kind of radar estimations from Sheboygan all the way towards Watoma. A large area, about an inch and a half to two inches of accumulation. We shift further northward and a very similar story between one to two and a half inches of rainfall, slightly lesser totals farther north you get. So from yesterday and today, and this is through this afternoon in terms of the official observations for the Fox Valley, over an inch and a half of rainfall has fallen in the last about 36 hours. In the last 22 days, we only had 65 hundredths of an inch. That's why we, half of the viewing area is dealing with abnormally dry or moderate drought conditions. So that's what I mean when the rain is very welcome. No rainfall, though, in the forecast. We could even break out to a little bit of sunshine later in the afternoon hours tomorrow. However, it is going to be a breezy day. Yes, the weather alert has expired. We don't have any high wind warnings or wind advisories, but as we head into tomorrow, Winds are still going to be out of the southwest and we could be dealing with some gusts approaching around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Temperature planner for tomorrow getting into the mid 50s. Normal highs 49. It is going to be a little cooler than what we've been dealing with over the last couple of days, but at least it'll be a, a nice quieter end to the weekend. 41 for tonight. We'll get up to 55 tomorrow. Southwest winds 10 to 20 gusts near 30. And then come the 40s, Monday and Tuesday, at least Tuesday for voting day dry. We'll get into the 60s, though, quickly before there's a push of that cold air on Saturday. High of 35.